He certainly chose a very, very interesting meeting place. Well, they say confession's good for the soul, right? David, I understand that there are things about you in your past that you would rather not discuss. But it's obvious that something has gone on between you and Alex. Something. And you haven't told me what it is. But whatever it is, or, or was, clearly it's significant. Are you afraid of what I might share with you? You knew her, didn't you? Before you came to Pine Valley. Yes. Well, that's not what you led me to believe. You said you loved me. I do. But you lied to me. Was it because you were afraid that the truth could upset me? Look, uh... Whatever went on between you and Alex, if you and Alex were lovers, I'm sure that that's very difficult to admit because you, there were feelings between you. And it's very hard for you to talk about now because the feelings are still there. Any interest in Alex whatsoever? But you did know her. Yes. I knew her and her roommate, Siobhan. We met in London. I was there as a surgical resident trying to get a closer look at socialized medicine. I see. And I sure wasn't the person that I am now. I hadn't yet learned that people come into our lives for a reason. What do you mean? Siobhan was a student. And she was very lovely. We dated each other for a short time. There was nothing earth-shaking till she got pregnant. Oh. How did you handle that? By telling her the truth. That I wasn't in love with her. That I really had no wish to have a child in my life at that time. And I told her that whatever choice she'd made, that I would support her, emotionally as well as financially. But she didn't want to help. All she wanted was me. You make her sound obsessive. She was unstable. Perhaps even borderline psychotic. All the indicators were there. And Alex saw that. She claimed Siobhan was her best friend, and not once did she ever warn me that she was coming unspooled. She never prepared me for the possibility that... That what? Siobhan overdosed. And it wasn't an accident. Did she die? Yes. Suicide. Blames me. Erica. Are you? Am I what? Are you to blame for what happened to Siobhan? Why is Alex so furious with you? She insists that I knew that Siobhan was suicidal and that I gave her the key to the hospital medicine cabinet knowing that she was going to steal the drugs for her overdose. But you gave her the key. No, no, absolutely not. Siobhan stole the key from me. Look, I may have been blind at the time, but I wasn't a complete imbecile. It would have been like handing her a loaded gun. I wasn't in love with the woman, but I certainly didn't wish her any harm. Look, and don't be fooled by Alex's uh, uh, quest for, for, for justice. There are far more selfish motives behind her actions. Namely? There are some details that you don't need to know. 
Anything else that I say is going to be ungentlemanly. Oh, well, that's just too bad. I mean, you have to keep telling me now. You know very well if you don't tell me now, I'll just wonder what it is that you're hiding, which is, of course, exactly what Alex keeps implying, it's even not, saying. It's not just Chauvin's death that's, that's driving Alex. She's angry about other things. Enlighten me. After Siobhan and I started seeing each other, she went away for the weekend to see her family. I misunderstood when she was coming back and I went to her apartment. Alex was there alone. And she... She put the moves on me. And I admit that it wasn't my loyalty to Siobhan that stopped me from taking what she was offering. So you said. So what was it? I didn't trust her motives. And frankly, I was never interested in the woman. So you turned her down? Yes, I turned her down. And to say that she didn't receive it well is an understatement. Because from that moment on, she made it her life's mission to humiliate me. She used Siobhan's suicide to discredit me in London. And that's exactly what she's trying to do here. You do believe me, don't you?